everyone's having a lovely day. Hello, I'm Aliyah from Section Matinees and I have a question for you today. Have you ever asked yourself if you're patient enough? If you don't know and you're curious, try to find out. I want everyone to close your eyes. Wait until you open them unless I tell you to. Better be worth it. Now, imagine yourself waking up, very hungry. So you stood up to find some food, but you didn't find it. Nothing in the fridge, nothing in the pantry, nothing, even in the kitchen cabinets. But you started to look in the trash bin, and there, you saw an egg. And when you saw that egg, you started to get hungrier. You're now happy and jumping all around, thinking what egg dish you want to make. Uh-huh, you want an inside side up. You hurried back to the kitchen to cook it. Apron check, spatula check, frying pan check. You're finally ready. You're about to cook only to discover there was no gas. So, you called the gas merchant to order some gas. But they said to deliver it after an hour. After waiting for some minutes, your stomach growled to be extremely hungry. Frustrated, you went outside to gather some wood to make a fire. You searched and searched until you burned a perfect tree. You cut its branches and hurriedly ran back to your house to start a fire. But wait. You don't know how to start a fire? Luckily, you have an old neighbor who knows how to start a fire. You call your neighbor and ask them if they can teach you how to start a fire. They said yes. Finally, you're a step closer to your side side up. They tell you how to make a fire, you practice and practice, and finally, you can start your own fire. You express your gratitude and say goodbye to that neighbor. Now, you can make your own fire. Then you start your fire and put your pan on the fire to heat it. As you wait for the pan to heat up, you start to get impatient and hungrier. It's like time to stop and everything moves slower than ever. Your hands are fidgeting as they were itching to do something. You're uncomfortable and waiting for the pan to heat up makes you feel troubled. And without thinking, you crack the egg on the pan to cook it. Yes, you crack the egg without thinking. Without realizing that you still haven't put the oil on the pan. You're now panicking. You hold your spatula as you move your life and try to scoop the egg up. But the egg was stuck on the pan. You tried to add oil, thinking it would make the egg slip on the pan. You know, ignoring the hunger and now panicking because everything feels like it's falling apart. You wanted to get the egg out. But as you try to scoop it out, most of the egg clung on the pan and it just crumbles like a lump of disappointment. Time stops. You stare at the egg of dismay, reflecting, realizing, acknowledging your mistake. You stop and gaze at the front gate of your house. The gas delivery. The gas was finally here, but the egg was already ruined. Now open your eyes. An engine lawyer, politician, social activist, and writer Mahatma Gandhi once said, To lose patience is to lose the battle. This is where patience plays a significant role in our lives. The egg represents our talents, dreams, and our chances. And we sometimes find them in the most unexpected places, like how we found the egg. And we plan to have an egg that's go, an egg that's ready to be eaten. Like our dreams and our talents, we want it to be ready and perfect. The apron, spatula, and frying pan represents the things we require to be prepared, like practice, lessons, realizations, and education. And the glass represents a step closer to achievement. The glass represents opportunity. But there are many steps, many obstacles that we need to go through first. And sometimes, we just need to be still and wait. But we got impatient and started to explore the alternatives. And exploring, we meet new people like the old neighbor who help us to start the fire. We encounter people who help us flourish. And sometimes, we need to say goodbye to them. Don't be afraid of goodbyes and be grateful for the lessons you gain while you're with them. At least you realize something from them. And now, you learn how to start your own fire. You learn how to make your own opportunity. We lost your patience. Our talents, dreams, and passions that we worked so hard to find are now gone. It was all for nothing. As we lost that talent, as we lost that dream, as we lost that passion, the gas delivery arrived. Opportunity is now at your doorstep. But it was too late. Opportunities present themselves to those who are prepared. Maybe you were prepared for the opportunity, but too impatient and hungry to wait for it. 
we were hungry for a chance. A chance to change, a chance to replenish the hunger, a chance to end the unending void. But their patience ruined everything. There was this experiment in 1972. That was a call to Walter Michel. The experiment was called Taco Marshmallow Experiment. This experiment was meant to test kids' patience. In this experiment, kids were offered one but small immediate rewards or two small rewards if they waited for a period of time. The researcher left the kids in the room for 15 minutes and returned. Some kids passed the test and some didn't. In follow-up studies, Michelle found an expected correlation between the marshmallow experiment and the children's success many years later. In 1988, it showed that preschool children who delayed gratification longer were described more than 10 years later by their parents as adolescents who were significantly more competent. The researchers found out that children who were able to wait longer for the preferred rewards did have better life outcomes, measured by SAT scores, educational attainment, body mass index, and other life measures. Our household followed patients ever since I was a kid. I remember this phrase being constantly told to us. A kid should learn how to wait! And ever since, I learned how important patience is and how it affects one's success and personal growth. The last thing you should do when you're pursuing something is to be patient. Try to be more patient with your situation, with people around you, and especially yourself. But well, being patient is not just the ability to wait, it's how we behave while waiting. Patience go hand in hand with consistency. Be consistent in everything you do and be patient as well. Know that you already won the battle when you have patience with you. Earlier, I told you to close your eyes and wait. Did you get impatient and open them without me telling you to? Now ask yourself this question. Am I patient enough?